more often than not when we think about spiritual battles, we tend to focus on the defense, protecting ourselves, guarding ourselves, shielding ourselves. And while that defense is crucial, the truth is battles can't solely be won by playing defense. Hey there, my name is Doisa Mwanti Waihiga and this week on Sitam Church Online, I'm going to be taking us through the final piece in the armor of God, the sword of faith. Now, all the armor that we have seen so far up until this point has been to help protect the soldier, all right? But unlike all the other pieces of armor, um, which are solely defensive, the sword of the spirit is actually uniquely suited for both defense and offense. It's the only piece of armor that's actually listed in an offensive capacity. And a solid defense is absolutely invaluable. That's why there's those other pieces from the breastplate to the shield, you know, guarding our feet, the belt, everything. Very, very invaluable as well. But the sword is really the only way we can actually complete the work that we have been given to do. Why is that so? Well, it's because even if we have the rest of the armor in place and we're suited up correctly, perfectly without that sword without our sword our offensive weapon we are basically going to amount to very heavily armored targets right which is like moving targets very well armored but a target nonetheless and so we need the sword to be able to attack the enemy and this sword is the word of god it's the scripture the word of God is able to cut through every defense that the enemy could throw our way or raise before us. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart now when the children of god when we take up and when we wield up this sword of the spirit nothing can withstand its ability the ability of the word of god to cut straight through it and expose at the very core of that thing um, its truth and what the truth actually is and uncover what the real deal actually is and so this word is very powerful it's absolutely mighty it is so powerful that literally Paul has only given us one offensive weapon and that's because apparently we only need that one weapon that's how powerful this word is there is no enemy that the word of God coupled with the spirit of God in a child of God cannot defeat. What a powerful promise and assurance that that is for you and I as believers in Christ today. We therefore need to really harness the power of the word of this sword of the spirit we need to be spending time in the word with our bibles communing with god fellowshipping with him every day to be able to be strong and to turn around any sort of attacks that the enemy would wield against us and jesus offered us a really great example remember when satan was trying to tempt him in the wilderness in matthew chapter 4 um, Jesus didn't throw insults back at Satan. He wasn't there binding and rebuking and putting him under you know, his feet. You know all those things us Pentecostals like to do? <laughs> no, Jesus actually went back at him. He clapped back at him, if you will, with the scriptures. And uh, every single one of Satan's claims and attempts to, to tempt him, Jesus actually rebutted back with the scripture. And so as soldiers in God's army, it really is our responsibility and our duty to use his word to discern the truth 
and then to follow it so that we are ready to go on that attack. I certainly hope that um, this has given you something to reflect about today and not just today's episode on the Sword of the Spirit but also all that we've been discussing throughout this entire series over the last several weeks. If you've missed any of the episodes be sure to head back you know and uh, check them out. Be sure to watch them. I trust that they'll be a blessing to you and of course leave us your comments on the social media pages uh, listed there below. Next week I'm gonna come back and just kind of do a quick summary of what it is we've been doing over these last few weeks as we've considered the armor of God. But my hope is that it has left you feeling much more confident about your strength as a child of God and that he has your back and he's equipped you with all that you need to go out there into the world and stand against the enemy's attacks. So until next week, God bless you guys and stay safe.